Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sword, also known as Katana Crossing, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I built Portia's post office while she was fishing all day, but it's fine. It's fine. It's not like she asked for it anyways. So this is basically just a very simple, easy, tiny post office with my own little twist on it. Um, as most of you know, I'm doing a wedding core island right now. So I tried to make this post office very wedding themed and kind of in coloration that goes with the rest of my island. So obviously you guys can definitely make it look the more natural rustic version. Like I said, I know that a lot of people make post offices, so this is by no means an original idea. Um, I will have all my codes either in the video or linked in a video in the description. So I hope you guys enjoy this and if you guys are interested in seeing this, then keep on watching. Okay, so first thing I did was move Portia's house because, you know, it's her post office. Yeah. So I moved her house to kind of the left upper hand corner of my island for no rhyme or reason. I just thought it looked like a good spot to have a cute little post office. And then I placed the den desk right next to her house because that's going to be like little office space and then I used these upright lockers in the color white and I kind of just placed them but unfortunately I couldn't move them right up against each other so you'll see later that I stack them behind but for now I'm just kind of decorating the desk I put down the rotary phone I put down some coffee because she she's gonna need it um, and then I got into the Island Designer app to put down some customs. So I will have the link for all these customs to the video where I showed you guys all the customs that I was going to be using for this island if you want to get any of these. And I'm just kind of placing this sort of natural looking path up to her house. And then I used this other tile that kind of looked like wedding tile, sort of like wedding colors, and I just used that as the flooring for the post office because I want it to go really well with the rest of the colors on the island. Now I'm placing this phone box right next to her house. I don't know why, I just think it looks cute. I feel like maybe it would be something you'd find in like an old post office or something. And then I placed the box on the lockers and then I went back to my house to customize some cushions in the classic uh, envelope custom that I found on Pinterest. So I will have the code for that here on the screen. And then my best tip when you make a post office is go to your recycling bin for the cardboard boxes because you will need a lot of boxes and I feel like the key is just to stack boxes and boxes. And then here I'm just customizing a stall kind of in this cute white rose design just to keep the little wedding vibes going on in my island. And I just place it down next to the house and put one of the cushions in the envelope design as well as Rover's briefcase because why not? And then here, this little island that was hanging off kind of bothered me, so I just quickly waterscaped it away. <laughs> and you guys can see the struggle. And then for the rest of the time, I'm pretty much just doing some decorating, just placing down boxes, stacking, and just doing whatever I can to make it look like a post office. And then here, I just kind of continued with the customs. I'm just trying to make it a classic tiny post office, but with a little bit of my own twist on it, more like wedding vibes since this island is wedding core, so yeah. And then here, I just made the little entrance with the wedding arch as well as the vertical board fencing. I just thought it looked like a cute way to close it off. And then I used these public benches in white to make little seating areas. And here, this is the part where I ended up ordering more lockers and I ended up stacking them um, behind each other just so it would look less empty in the spaces. And then I still had to order more, as you can see. And I just continued doing the same process until it looked decent. While Portia's just fishing away, she's just having the time of her life while we're just building her a whole post office. 
And then I feel like the most fun part is putting your own mailbox in the post office because now when I go to check my mail, I actually have to physically walk to the post office. So I feel like it's really cute because it makes it look... It's not just for aesthetics, it's actually a build that you can use, which is very rare in Animal Crossing considering most of our designing and building is usually based on aesthetics. And then I just continued placing more cardboard furniture and I placed some cushions on top and you'll see that I end up placing some nuptial ring pillows here as well because I felt like this made the post office look more like wedding Esque, I don't know. It's just like a little place to send out your invitations. And that's pretty much it for my post office. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know that um, this was a pretty simple build and a very short video, but I hope you guys still enjoyed and if you do like my content and you're new make sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you want to get notified when i upload and stream and thank you guys again so much for watching another video of mine i will try to get out longer better videos next week i just ran out of time this week but i hope you guys still enjoyed this anyways and i hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you are and i hope to see you guys in my next video bye